in my Lou, you weren't always able to make a phone call or send a text from just about anywhere. And there's a place right here in South County that's giving visitors a better appreciation for today's telecommunications. Inside this old home at Jefferson Barracks, they're dialing up history. We have 147 years of uh, history of the telephone. Historical and somewhat personal items. We've all collected enough stuff over the years personally to actually uh, outfit the building. And what a collection it is. We have about 1,500 plus items. Items ranging from the vintage to the rotary. Back in the day, you had a uh, landline telephone. Uh, you could do one thing on it. To the cellular. Cell phone has changed a, tr a, a tremendous amount because there's just so many more things you can do. Dan is the assistant director here at the Telephone Museum. He's a walking telephone book. When it comes to phones, he can recall it all from the very beginning. Back 1876 with Alexander Graham Bell, you know, the fact that he actually wanted to make communication better for the deaf. As the ability to communicate evolved, calls would involve some help. If you wanted to make a local phone call, you would have to go through an operator. That operator then would then place the call for you. Operators weren't the only ones hearing you. At one time, there were party lines. So you'd have to share your telephone with either one up to 15 other people. Privacy was a problem. Everybody liked to listen to everybody else's conversation. Dan loves conversing with young people about these fun facts. There's the very first form of texting over in the corner over on the wall. It's uh, called the Mars code or the telegraph key. And these artifacts. I think the kids are pretty amazed. Amazed and sometimes confused. They do not know how to dial a phone. But that is exactly why the museum is here, to educate and to appreciate how our modern day telecommunication came to be. Here's your dime. So people won't soon forget what it means to drop a dime. We don't want the history to die. <laughs> of course, you got to have dimes in order to drop a dime. Now get this, Dan told me that back in the day, mm -hmm. to call from St. Louis to Clayton, it was considered a long distance phone call. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see that. It's, it's... I mean, I still remember, that. I loved touching the rotary mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. Yeah. And I remember actually in the 80s, you could, um, I could just use the last four numbers uh -huh. and be like, dial my best friend for just the last four numbers. Isn't that silly? You're, you're showing your <laughs> age, probably. Hey, the Telephone Museum is at Jefferson Barracks. It is open Wednesday through Sunday from 9 o'clock in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. So go check it out. I think it'd be a good TikTok for kids, you yeah. know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's what like is time this? travel real yeah. quick.